Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your September the 13th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. Next few days, I want to dedicate these meditations to my beloved sister, late sister, Tammy. Dedicate these to her for introducing me to the program of N.A. before she passed away. Okay, September 13th, serenity in keeping it real. We listen to one another with an open mind and an open heart, and we share our experience with the understanding that it won't necessarily be shared by everyone else. That comes from the Living Clean Book, Chapter 3, A Spiritual Journey. Among the first things many of us notice about NA is how recovering addicts get very real with each other when sharing in meetings. Serenity, excuse me, sincerity is sometimes mistaken for weakness, especially among uh, using addicts. Showing up to recovery meetings for the first time and seeing people willingly exposing vulnerabilities the way we do can be both shocking and refreshing. We start to listen and to open up. Being present and showing up wholeheartedly would mean a 180 degree change from our old approach. We were accustomed to wearing masks, deflecting attention, or adapting to whatever was happening around us. Yeah, 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 we played along. Not making any waves was key to our survival before we got clean. Early in recovery, we may find ourselves listening to others and then trying to match how they share. Not wanting to call attention to ourselves, we might string together slogans or pretend to be something we're not. One addict wrote, I would tailor my shares to try and appeal to the listeners. And the harder I tried to make people relate, the phonier I felt and sounded. When I just tell my own story my own way, people seem to connect so much more. Something within us shifts as we do the work of staying clean. We prioritize honesty and authenticity over ease, empathy over shallow connection. From the, from the heart serenity over fitting in. I like that. From the heart serenity over fitting in. When we share... We allow ourselves and each other the dignity of our own understanding and experience. We each take on the responsibility of expressing what's going on with us. It's harder to talk the talk when we don't walk the walk. We share what we found, what we think, and where our uncertainties lie. The truer we are in what we share with others, the better the odds that they will be able to relate. As a recovering addict, serenity makes it possible for me to connect with others wholeheartedly. I will keep it real today. That's a powerful meditation, keeping it real, serenity and keeping it real. I believe I went through that. There were some very strong shares when I first came around to the program, and I just wanted the dynamics of their story, but the truth was I hadn't lived what they had lived. And for me to try to make it sound like I had or that my drug of choice was something different than it actually was, was just ridiculous. And yeah, people, you know, they'll listen. Sometimes they'll listen, even if you have a, you know, even if you have a good story, they will act like they're listening and not be listening. Um, and sometimes I don't say anything profound. I don't add any ex extra energy to what I'm saying. And it seems like that's when people let me know, you know what? I needed to hear that. I'm like, huh? I barely needed to say it, but okay. <laughs> but it's where I'm at, right? And so I want for you to do that today. As a recovering addict, remember that sharing the NA way is about telling your story and being sincere about what you've been through and not trying to gauge what you share by how big of a, a room clap or a head nod or how much approval you think that you need. It's about you. It's about the inside of you. And share that. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose.